Hello and welcome to Wild Card Wednesday. I'm so happy to have so many of you aboard, so many of my regular subscribers from Scrapping at Monica's Place, and hopefully I'll have a whole bunch of new subscribers as well. So on this very first premiere episode, I'm going to be making a card using the Doodle This stamp set from Stamping Up. It is going to be discontinued June 30th, and it's such a great stamp set. I've used it for so many different projects. So I thought I'd make a quick little card with this stamp set right now. And I'm also going to be using a little bit of birthday cheer for my greeting. So let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is to cut out a piece of chocolate chip cardstock lengthwise. So your card is going to fold this way and use your bone folder to crease the fold edge and also we're going to be using some pink pure wet cardstock as you can see there and the pink pure wet cardstock is going to be cut one and a half inches by four and one quarter inch so the first thing we're going to use we're going to be using some Versamark and we're going to do a little bit of watermarking with our stamp set. Watermarking is just when you just simply use the Versamark without embossing it. So I'm going to use this particular stamp here. I'm going to apply the Versamark and then I'm going to randomly just stamp it on the front of the card. So I like the way that scrolly in comes there. I'm going to run it off the card a little bit. And I'm just going to keep doing that all over the front of the card. As you can see, my Versamark is well used and well loved, that's for sure. So I'm going to take one here and just maybe use half of it. I'm just trying to create a bit of a background for my card. And then I think I'll just take this little bit here and stamp right there and there. That's pretty well covered, so I hope you can see the watermark designs there. The darker the cardstock, the more the watermark effect shows up. The next step is going to take a small piece of the pink pirouette cardstock. And we're going to take the Doodle Flower, the large one, from the stamp. And we're also going to use Versamark to stamp that up as well. So we'll press that down there. And we're going to be using heat and stick powder with this one. And then some really nice glitter. We're going to take our heat and stick powder. And uh, I'm sure many of you have seen that people put their embossing powders and glitters inside of um, little containers like this. It's kind of like embossing powder, but when it gets heated up, it gets very, very sticky. So we're going to generously apply some to the top of this card and then put it right back in the container. I'm going to use my embossing tool to get that ready for glitter. Now while that's warm, I'm going to take some Dazzling Diamonds glitter and apply it to that heat and stick powder. And this is just going to sort of adhere to that heat and stick powder. So We'll set this again with our heat tool. I do want to mention that Stamping Up does have a heat tool as well, but uh, today I was using a different one. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to cut out all along the edges of this flower, and I'm going to be adhering it with a brad. So for right now, I'm just using this little piece of foam. So I'm just going to stick my piercing tool down the center, put it aside for a second, 
I'm going to be using the Build a Brad set from Stampin' Up. I'm going to pop out a little center from the uh, chocolate chip cardstock. And this is a half inch circle punch. Just need a little center for the brad. For this time, I'm just going to use the snail adhesive, but if you want it really adhered really well, you could use a two way glue pin. Might be a little bit stronger. So it's just going to go right on top of the center of the brad, like so. And then there's these clear dome tops that just go right on top, like so. So I've got my brad created, and I'm going to just replace the, the piercing tool with the brad and just leave the flower sitting like that until I'm ready to attach it to the front of the cart. This piece of paper was cut, I believe it's one and a half inches, I'm almost positive, out of the pink pirouette cardstock. I'm going to take my scallop punch from Stampin' Up and make a little bit of a scalloped edge. These little silver, I'm not sure if you can see the little mirror things here and here. This is how you line this up. You put, if you can see here, I have lined up this scallop with the mirror border and just make sure it's all lined up straight and then press oops, again and it should keep your scallops exactly where they need to be. There we go. I trimmed off an inch off the edge of the card as you can see and then what's going to eventually happen is I'm going to line this up there run some snail adhesive and have this little border stick out underneath the card like that. But before I do that, I'm going to stamp a sentiment on it. A little birthday cheer stamp. The one I'm going to use is Celebrate You. I think that's such a great sentiment. It should be used all year long. <laughs> and I'm using some chocolate chip ink. And I'll ink that up and just place it in the left hand corner of our card. Close that up. We'll take our snail adhesive and run it along the top of this. our card here. I love using a grid board or paper underneath because it sure helps you to line things up straight. And I'm just going to trim the edges there and we've got our card. Okay, so I've got my little scalloped edge there on the bottom and next I'm going to take just a piece of chocolate brown organza ribbon and just kind of figure out where is a good where a good place is to place it, and then we'll just do a little trim here, a little bit of an angle, and another one here, and then the next thing we're going to do is add our dazzling diamonds flower, and I think it might look good just somewhere about here with the petals hanging over the ribbon. So I'm going to use my paper piercer, being very careful that I don't poke my fingers and put in our little flower with the coordinating brad right about there. And there we have our cute, quick, quick, quick little card. Remember, you can only get this stamp set until June 30th 2009. So for more information about this and any other Stampin' Up! promotions, please go to my blog at wildcardwednesday.blogspot.com for more information. See you next week!